Joshua Grabowski, 25. I first picked up a paintbrush, I was probably about 16. Um, and I really started passionately doing it about two years ago. I've always done artwork, um, pencil, charcoal, any, anything I could get my hands on. And then one of my teachers said that I needed to start painting, kind of put a paintbrush in my hand. The, the still life pieces, um, they started just about three months ago, actually. So most of them were just wood and unprimed canvas. And so now they are lots of brush strokes later. They're in many, many, many hours. Um, <laughs> I have, I have all this to show for it. What sacrifices have you made to fulfill your passion with painting? Uh, money sacrifices, for sure. Um, time, absolutely, for sure. Mm, social life, occasionally. Maybe just a little bit of my sanity, but it's worth it. I think it's worth it. I would say that my style is the style of a 25-year-old who is ever-changing. I don't typically paint in one style, per se. You know, I do still lifes and portraits and cityscapes and people have come to me asking if I could do a Star Wars piece and, you know, so I, I'm doing lots of different things and kind of just really emphasizing on the fact that I can do everything. Everything with paint or with, with any kind of medium, I'm, I'm kind of fearless like that, I suppose, so. Um, I, the piece behind you, um, I keep referring to it as like the library painting that has so many books in it. Um, really, the, a lot of the books in the painting are, they all have like a little bit of a special meaning to me. Um, one of them has been like an inside joke with a friend since I was like 12. The bust of the statue is actually from my studio, the thermometer again from my studio. Kinds of little things that mean something to me. I was trying to figure out how I can sit in front of these canvases for sometimes literally hundreds of hours and you know how I how I can force myself to do that without going completely insane to the naked eye they might just be a nice painting but to me when I look at them they're personal and they're my babies and so I've come to realize in this whole you know getting the show together and everything I've come to realize that the paintings once I complete them are no longer mine I just came to realize that I have a talent that is kind of sought after and I would like to be able to share that with anybody that's willing to want to appreciate it on a more personal level. What uh, is the significance of Josh Grabowski still painting? The name um, of your show. It, my life has kind of shifted in this direction where I'm like running like 40 miles a week and I'm painting, you know, many, many, many hours a week also. So they were kind of making fun of that I'm still running, I'm still painting. And then it's also kind of a play on words because I made this whole body of still lifes. So it's, uh, it's a still life series that I just created and I'm still painting. I think one of the lasting memories of everybody that I've ever come into contact with is that I'm an artist and I'm, I was a painter and I was doing art. So it was kind of like, oh, well, Josh Grabowski, he's still painting. <laughs> so there you go. <laughs> I was going to Columbia and uh, busy with the life of wandering the streets of Chicago and finding fun things to do and get into trouble. I realized, you know, that only gets me so far and only fulfills me so much. When I make a painting and I can stand back and I can look at what I created and I can share it with people and then I get their reactions, that's what I think drives me now. It's really nice to see the appreciation from everyone about the the work that I do and everyone keeps referring to it as a gift and, and I never really looked at it like that until kind of recently and so again it is it is something that I can share with the world I might as well. What is next for me? Next is more still life work. I want to expand on this series. I want to keep just constantly expanding in whatever direction I see fit at the moment. What is next is a mystery. In a perfect world, I would be doing everything that I'm doing right now. I would be having uh, art shows on a pretty regular basis, whether it be annually or a little bit more regularly than that. Um, but have kind of artwork spread throughout galleries across the world.